Hey guys, James Walker with turnkeyinvest.com. Uh, here on a Saturday, making some videos for you guys about properties that we have on the website. As you know, our inventory is huge. There's people with nine month waiting lists in town. There's a lot of turnkey providers that have one or two properties. We've done the necessary steps to keep great inventory in front of you at all times, just like this property that we're bringing to you in a county only tax area. So we'll talk about that in a second, but if you haven't heard about the May event, this is for existing clients uh, or referrals from really good clients of mine. I'm bringing 50 investors to town and we're nearly halfway sold out. So if you're interested in coming, you can apply to come to the uh, event here. The event's free of charge, but not everyone is um, you know, coming to the event. I want this to be a homecoming for my current investors. It's a mastermind where you guys get to together and share what's working, what's not, what you might have done differently in your investment careers. There'll be people here who are buying their first property and the people that are on their 50th property. So you're gonna have a wide variety of people in the room. Let me tell you what it's gonna look like. So everybody comes in on a Thursday, Friday, we have a short day of education. And I say that because, you know, if you're like me, uh, you don't need to be in classroom for days on end. So we're gonna learn about the processes and systems I have in place that are working for my investors. Some new investment strategies, um, what parts of Memphis to invest in, what parts of Memphis that we stay away from and why. You're gonna meet the team from acquisitions and renovations, uh, property management, one of the keys to this whole turnkey investing strategy Property management is key, and you're gonna see meet the team here on staff that takes care of your properties as if they were our own. You're gonna meet our attorney, our insurance provider, our lenders. Everybody that makes this possible will be here to answer any question you have. This is a, still a very personable business, one-on-one -on -one business that uh, you can't take away the team members and it works. So it's important that you guys get to know us on a very personal level as you're investing hundreds of thousands of millions of dollars with us in turnkey rental properties here in Memphis, Tennessee. So from the website, today we're taking a look at this property. It's at 7807 Birdwood Drive in Memphis, Tennessee. Actually, it's the county area, so it's not in the city limits of Memphis. Um, zip code 38125. It's an all brick, three bedroom, two bath, one car garage ranch a little tank of a house, very little on the exterior to ever maintain, and the interior has been fully renovated, brought to current day standards. It's not that old of a house, it was built in 2011, so it's all practically like buying a brand new home. Since it's county only, the cash on cash is huge. It's only 165,000, it's gonna rent for 13.95 a month, which brings us almost 10.5% cash on cash return. So we'll dig into that in a moment, but let's talk macro to micro. Where is this property? From downtown Memphis, Tennessee, our western border is the Mississippi River. This pink dot you see here is St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, $9 billion investment coming into Memphis right now. As I scroll out, you see the airport where FedEx has a $1.5 billion investment coming into the largest air cargo hub in the Northern Hemisphere, second only in the world to Hong Kong lots of jobs. Uh, if you skipped over to the east, FedEx has their corporate headquarters in Carrierville. So just northeast of this property, we're looking at 7807 Birdwood Drive in the county only area today. So this is a new community right next to a great school, Southwind uh, High School. It's in a you know, very homeowner neighborhood. So lots of homeowners here, low crime, and we'll get to all of those facts here in just a minute. From the website, if you click on the button that says click here for more information, it's gonna open what I call the diligence vault. The diligence vault was created to give an informed investor all the information they need to decide on their own, whether this fits their portfolio or on to the next one. So we're gonna give you all the information starting with a property data sheet. So this is every bit of information I have accessible to me as a real estate broker in the state of Tennessee. The legal name of the subdivision, the taxes straight from the source, the tax assessor, not an estimate of what taxes are, but exactly what the taxes are. In Memphis, we reassess our taxes every four years. So depending on how your property is assessed, so the assessment on this property, um, 
then it, there's a millage rate that you pay taxes on. That won't happen again until 2011. And in most areas of town, we are not looking at a significant rise in taxes. The most prominent areas in Memphis are gonna get hit harder than the areas that are um, you know, not the $165,000 houses. It's gonna give you bedroom and bathroom count from the assessor, the realtor who last um, you know, entered the data. Sadly, that's the least accurate. I am a realtor, but that sadly is the least accurate. And then down here, this is important to always look at the uh, flood zone. So this, according to FEMA, will not flood in the next 500 years. Memphis is practically flood proof. I co-authored an article I'll be glad to send you. It says, is Memphis really flood proof? Well, nowhere it's flood proof, but all of our contributaries head to the Mississippi River. Arkansas sits below Memphis, so the state of Arkansas will need to flood before we have major problems in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. So um, you should not be buying properties in the flood zone in Memphis. In other areas of the country, a lot of turnkey properties, rental properties may require flood insurance. And for 40% you know, of my buyers who are paying cash, it might not matter because you don't buy flood insurance, but think about your exit strategy. Maybe you can sell to somebody that is something that keeps you from selling it. So not in the flood zone. Check out some pictures. Like I said, it's a little brick tank. You see these gray accents all over the houses that we offer. So gray shutters, gray front door, updated landscaping, LVP floors. This is one of the bedrooms, updated lighting fixtures, two inch forward blinds on all the windows. A very new water heater, I don't believe it's brand new. We'll get to that in a minute. One car garage, you can see the paint left over from the guys being in there. We're nearly wrapped up on this house. So one more week and it'll be ready, ready to move a tenant in. So super clean, super efficient, three bedroom, two bath house. Look at that open living area, that's perfect. With those LVP floors. This is gorgeous. It looks just like hardwood, but it's a vinyl material. It's made for more of a commercial application, but um, our tenants love it and it's extremely durable. So we keep putting it in. I love these molded showers. They're one piece showers. There's not a whole lot that can go wrong here and they can get filthy. You can hose them down, you can scrub them down, and they come back looking like new every time. So very much updated, um, simple three bedroom, two bath house. Uh, stainless steel appliances, the Formica countertops, solid wood cabinets with new uh, pools, the little decorative nickel pools. Did a gooseneck faucet on this one. So brand new appliances in this house. Gorgeous, gorgeous little probably fenced in backyard. Wish we could um, have a hundred properties just like this one. This is it's an ideal property. So then we're gonna put in your diligence vault, what we call the three up sheet or comparable sales. Uh, so we wanna see that each property is going to appraise that we sell to you, right? So here you see similar square footage, uh, sim uh, same bedroom bathroom count, the difference between our subject property and these, they have a two car garage, but look, they're selling in the $165 to $171,000 range. And here we are bringing you this house at only $165,000. So very much um, in the runnings, you've got comparable sales all over the place. Now, remember when I show you these, you want these properties to be within the same vicinity, and these are just a few blocks from each other. You want to be in the same age range, bedroom, bathroom count, and square footage. All of these meet those standards. So the next thing that we'll look at on here, let's see where we are. Crime map. So this is a tool that's available to you no matter where you're buying houses or who you're buying from. If you're looking at another turnkey provider in Memphis or in Indianapolis, use the Zillow crime map. So you, the, what you're looking at is the shades of blue here, and then the lightest shade of blue is where you like to live. Knowing in the B-class properties, you might have a little bit of a blue, and in the C-class properties, it might even be that darker. In an A-class property like this one, one of the criteria is that we have that light blue color in the immediate vicinity and beyond, actually, um, for low crime in the area. All right, so the next part is rent-o-meter. What in the world is rent-o-meter? So this is a paid subscription that I'm paying for, so you don't need to subscribe, but if you really wanted to be diligent, you could spend the, you know, three three or $400 a year it is to be a member. And it's gonna tell you how accurate your um, prediction for rents are. So we're asking for 1395, and this is saying 1368, uh, 
we're right on the money. If one is sharp and clean and crisp and smelling nice as this house, $13.95 is doable all day long. A letter from me and our, my family to begin with, um, you know, about who we are, what we do, our entire process and how this works. Look, I tell people all the time, we're doing nothing new and inventive. This is basic real estate done consistently. So you've got a letter in the diligence vault, then you have a step-by-step -step process of what it looks like to purchase your first house with us or your 15th. So the discovery process is, might be where a lot of you guys are now. You're on here, you're looking through all the data, you're watching the videos, Maybe you have a question and it's not answered here, or you just need an explanation. Go to the website, click the button that says talk to an advisor. It's going to pull up my calendar. You pick the day that works for you, the time that works for you, and set an appointment on, on my calendar. I want to talk to each of you individually. Soon you'll have many of my team members on here from property management. Um, Stephanie Jones, if you haven't met Stephanie, she's our right-hand person when it comes to working with investors one-on-one. -on -one to fit each property to what meets your needs. So Stephanie, you've seen a lot of videos coming from her. She's great on the videos and working with you guys to fit the right property to your portfolio. So let's talk about the pro forma. This is a financial indication of how this property is gonna perform in the next so, uh, so many years. The purchase price is 165 with a almost $1,400 a month rent. After all expenses, and that's categorized down here in the bottom right hand corner, including vacancy. So a lot of people leave that out of their pro forma, but vacancy is a true expense. And I've put a 4% vacancy over a 10 year period. That's considering that every three years we have a tenant move out and it takes 45 days to get the new tenant back in. Totally doable over a 10 year period. Repa especially on an A-class property where we're looking for two year leases and nothing else. Uh, we will make an exception to take a one year lease if it's a FedEx pilot who just needs a house while his house is getting built. He's got an 800 credit score and all those things. But we would check with you first. Repairs. Since it's a newer house, it's minimal. So $41.85 a month for future repairs. Insurance. We have a group policy that you can be a part of, or you can use State Farm if that's who you prefer to use. They're just going to be higher, and there's a lot of um, coverage that we have offered in our group policy that may not be covered with someone who doesn't focus on rental properties. So we can talk to you more about that if you have questions. Management, foundation property management is going to charge 8% of the collected rent to take care of all the uh, back end work, your boots on the ground work as your manager, since many of you are thousands of miles away. Of course, Uncle Sam is going to get his money at $100 a month. And then your principal and interest on this 20% down mortgage that you're taking, the Fannie, Mac, Fannie Mae Freddie Mac mortgage, is $700 a month. So uh, gross monthly income minus expenses times 12 will give us our net operating income. Net operating income divided into the total cash out of pocket needed to purchase this house, which includes 20% down payment plus closing costs gives us the magic number everybody will ask me about cash on cash return so this one's going to produce a ten and a half percent cash on cash return meaning the amount of money that i had to take out of my savings account to buy this house the 20 percent down in closing costs what is my return on that amount of money ten and a half percent and that's why so many people are wanting to buy houses in memphis tennessee it's one of the last places you can find numbers like that on a house built in 2011 with county only taxes and fully renovated this week. It's just wrapping up right now. So we, you've heard me mention it a few times. If you don't know about foundation property management, go to foundationpm.com or from my website, there's links to get there. Learn about our company. This company was created to take care of you guys, my investors, and our motto is that I manage these properties as if I owned them myself. Every decision of who we place as a tenant, any repair made, cost is a big factor for me. You know, if um, uh, somebody says, well, you need to cut that whole tree down. Well, let's see if we can get away with, uh, you know, cutting the limb off first without, you know, putting anybody in any harm's way or uh, compromising the, something to do with the house. And that's a bad example. If, um, here's a good one. A toilet won't flush properly. A lot of property management companies will send a plumber out right away. That's, you know, toilet issue, might as well send a plumber. But we're gonna send somebody from my staff to assess the property 
and the repair before ever sending a plumber out who's, if he goes out and finds that it's something minor, it's always $175. The mindset a lot of other property management companies seem to have is it's the easy way out and who cares, it's not my money. I guarantee you, if you ask that property manager, well, what if you own the property? They're just not gonna dispatch a $175 trip charge plumber out there. They're gonna lay eyes on it. Is this a simple fix? Is this something that I can take care of while I'm here and my owners will never see a bill from that? Or do I need to truly spend the money on sending on a licensed plumber out here to take care of this toilet? Maybe it was this little chain in the tank came off. Too often I've seen that. So circling back, the May event's coming up. Um, if you are a past client, you qualify. If you have been referred by one of our past clients, you're also paying cash or working with one of our preferred lenders, very high likely uh, that you're gonna be qualified to attend our event and be a guest of ours. We put it on for free. It's a homecoming for our investors. From the uh, website, turnkeyinvest.com, you can get that information. You can um, find out more about foundation property management. Let me just say this as I wind this down. I wanna be a catalyst in helping you achieve your real estate investment goals in 2020 and beyond. My team is here. They're out in the field. It's Saturday, they're out in the field working. I'm in the office. I finally got a chance to make another video. I want to get to know you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. If you've got questions, reach out to me and my team and we will walk you through the process of buying your first or you know, whatever number of property. I've got everything you need under one roof. Acquisitions, renovations, property management, leverage. If, you're, if you need a mortgage uh, provider and you're not paying cash, I've got that for you. Attorneys, uh, termite guys, I mean, you name it. Everything's handed to you on a silver platter. We wanna give you white glove service and take care of you better than any company in town. Thank you very much and have a great day.